what is neural learning? So I know that you like, you know, have published your books and, and done some things and, but what is neural learning? What is, this is your kind of current project. Yeah. It, you mentioned, you know, podcasts and then courses, and this was mm. part of the wave of people offering courses. I, I did some work with, uh, back in the day with Evolver and Reality Sandwich, helping, uh, learning management systems and, and managing the webinars. And so I was familiar enough with it to try to build something on my own and begin offering courses. So it, it's really a medium for me to offer my courses. And then a few uh, folks in my network to do the same thing. Like we've had different, we've had a, a read through of Tolkien and the Lord of the Rings from like imaginal studies and Jungian studies, which was a really interesting course by uh, Becca Tarnas. Mm -hmm. um, I'm offering a kind of read through of the ever present origin which I do every February or so, and I go through until June. And then we're also doing right now with uh, JF Martel, uh, a, a kind of, it's, it's called art and contemplation. And it, it's essentially a sort of extended uh, seminar series with JF Martel, exploring art, uh, contemplative practice, artistic practices, and sort of synthesizing what he calls uh, his theory of the aesthetic universe. So, so I would say a lot of the coursework is very literary. Uh, it, mm -hmm. It's a good medium to kind of confront a difficult text or a diff difficult set of texts and uh, tend to be very fiction friendly. So we've been reading a lot of poetry and short stories with JF, with, uh, with Gebser, even though it's, it's a philosophical text we're going through the ever-present origin, uh, there's still so much multimedia and art and music, as you mentioned, it's, such, it's, it's a very living text when it comes to aesthetics and art. So a lot of that plays in. So yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's just been an interesting experiment in creating an online learning environment and uh, taking the courses that I would have loved to have taken you know, in graduate school or undergrad, I don't know what level they're at, they're quite sure, at, but, sure. but yeah, they're basically textual and literary deep dives with uh, a couple of friends. I mean, that's really what it comes down to. Um, but I've really been enjoying it so far. Yeah. That, that, that's what I was going to say, ask you is like, how, how much has that been a, a cool, um, kind of opportunity, I guess, you know, we'll get into the Anthropocene and, and stuff like that, but like, at least with this multimedia environment, you know, there, there is a saying, I think the late great Aaron Schwartz, the founder of Reddit, it's like, you know, everyone has a voice, which, you know, it's great, but then now not everyone gets heard because of, you know, algorithms and stuff like that. But at least now, you know, it seems like if you want to get after it, I mean, you can at least try, you know, and, and 10 years ago, 15 years ago, 20 years, that wasn't even possible. And then now, like you were mentioning multimedia, it's not just podcasting, like there's video essays now, courses, and then even uh, what I really enjoy, uh, I think what's going to be kind of the uh, next best thing is, uh, is a mix of both, you know, you kind of get into like the, uh, the a course and stuff, and then maybe at the end, you kind of meet up, you know, and then have this kind of, not party, but sort of party of like getting to know each other in the physical in real life, you know, I think there's a, <laughs> a yearning to do some of that, even though this is a great opportunity to kind of uh, test ideas and hypothesis, just try and talk to about things, you know, see, see what type of uh, truths you can trip over, you know, things like that. So um, very, very cool. And then uh, I guess, what is, what is, I guess, one uh, thing that you, one, I guess, key learning you, you've learned from neural learning since you started, because I'm assuming you guys have gone through many dead ends and, and other, you know, things of, uh, uh, of, um, kind of growth. So I, I guess just what's one key learning of, of going through that process. For me, I think it, it was really learning that folks want to learn with me, uh, okay. and not, to, not to okay. try to frame it as like, general consciousness exploration, like really like what are the courses that I want to learn? What am I passionate about? Trust myself as a curator of the content, mm -hmm. uh, particularly if I'm, I'm getting good feedback on, on the courses. So, so it's, it's actually been a kind of ignore the markety stuff and go with actually why people come to mutations podcast and read sure. my book, et cetera. They, they want those kind of courses. So it's, it's taken me a while to kind of course correct with that and move more in that direction. Um, just trusting what I'm curating and, and, oh, the, and, the, and the folks that I want on, you know, like who, who's the dream team, 
you know? Right, right, right. And then, and then get as weird as you want, get as weird as yeah, you want. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that that's good. That's good. I like that because again, like it, it, there can be a, a lot of influence to kind of get those clicks and get those kind of, you know, big people and stuff. But honestly, this, this is what I love just conversations with interesting people. And, and again, this is the first time we've kind of had a, a conversation and we met, you know, through Twitter, you know, a year and a half ago or so. So it's like, it's been a long road already. And then it seems like we know each other, but this the first time we were actually you know discussing and talking so very cool opportunity all, all around that.